Hey, what's up guys? So you know best here with the unboxing one of the newest hottest items right now on the market. This is the Google Nexus 4. This is an unlocked cell phone ready to be used anywhere in the world. Sold out on the Google Play Store. I think you can get it from T-Mobile though. That's going to be your best place here in the U.S. Anyway, it has a quad-core processor inside of it, 2 gigabytes of RAM. This one has 8 gigabytes of storage. They do offer a 16 gigabyte version, Nexus 4, and NFC, all that good stuff. We're going to get into the unboxing. I've been waiting too long for this thing to keep talking. And uh, well, actually, I can keep talking while unboxing this thing. So anyway, we take that cover off. We have a uh, nice little all black box here. Take out my knife. I've been using this knife for so many years. I need to get a new knife. If you have a recommendation for a new knife, leave a comment down below. Uh, so anyway, let me cut this tape like so. And come on out, baby. Come on out. Slide out for me. Slide out. There you go. All right. So I got the top of the box off and we have the Nexus 4 right here. I'm going to take this thing out. I'm going to set it to the side for now to see what we have inside of the box and we have a quick start guide fail all right so we got the uh quick start guide and yada we don't need that we, you don't want to look at that stuff i um, have a little thing here to pop the sim card out if you need to again this is an international phone you can take this thing anywhere you want to since it is unlocked um, and here it is. We got the USB cable to be able to charge it and sync it. All right, now it's going to get to the star to show here. I'm going to see if I can uh, take all this plastic off of here. This protective stuff. All righty. So we got all that stuff here. Now we have the phone. This thing is pretty light. Uh, I don't think, not as light as the iPhone as far as I can feel. I don't know the, the exact weight specs, but uh, it's pretty doggone close. It's very light phone. I'm um, see if I can go ahead and turn this thing on so we can get a, a sense of the screen quality. And um, so I like the back here. It looks very, um, and the pictures look very glittery, but it's not as shiny uh, in real life once you look at it. It um, has a nice little effect to it. Uh, kind of a holographic type of effect, a little bit there. Now, one thing to note that this is a glass back. You can see it does get a lot of fingerprints pretty easily there, but I do like the overall look of the back of the phone. Now, on the left-hand side, we have the volume controls and also the SIM tray. And on the right-hand side, we have the power slash sleep weight button. And then on the top, we have the headphone jack. And also at the bottom, we have the micro USB port. And so here's a quick little size comparison between the iPhone 5 and the Nexus 4. You can see that the Nexus 4 is just a little bit taller there. I'm just going to look at them side by side like so. And you can see that the uh, iPhone is, is, is definitely thinner than the Nexus 4. Um, but weight wise, I would say both of these are very close um, to each other um, as far as how they actually feel weight wise in your hand. All right, so I went ahead and set up the phone real quick, connected to my wireless network, entering my uh, Gmail account, and I should be all synced up and ready to go. And uh, there it is, need to hit the OK button there. Anyway, here it is. The screen looks very, very nice. Um, now, just was messing around with the uh, the previous Nexus phone. I would tell you this one uh, easily has a better screen than that one. Everything is very nice and bright and vibrant. Um, and OS seems to be you know running smoothly as you expect on a quad core processor. And of course, this is running Android 4.2 as well. Still Jelly Bean, but a better version of Android, uh, which will allow you to run widgets on the home screen and things like that. And so anyway, I'm going to stop this unboxing here. I'm going to start testing out the OS. I really like the hardware so far, but I'm going to test out the OS and I'm going to bring you my full review of the Nexus 4. Until then, leave a comment down below what you think about this phone so far. If you want to pick it up, try to find it in the Google Play Store. Once it becomes available, it starts off at $299 uh, for the 8 gigabyte version, totally unlocked, which is not a bad price at all. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I will catch you later. Peace.